Actually, first of all, uh, I want to thank you uh, for this opportunity to share with the world our story as musicians and as people who are in the middle of this hell in Ukraine. I believe that we need to share the whole world uh, information about what's going on and how come in the middle of Europe in the 21st century we face the war equal to Second World War horror. Uh, the thing is, um, the current situation in Ukraine is very hard. Everyone does what he can, of course. Some of us, mostly women and children, escape to Poland and other European countries. For example, my aunt escaped with her two children and uh, they are now in Warsaw and I'm very glad they are safe. And some of us uh, settled in the west of Ukraine, including the majority of IMMD musicians, um, including me, including my husband. He is vocalist and guitarist of uh, IMMD and our 18-month son. We are here in Carpathian Mountains. Uh, we still hear alarms, but uh, in general, it's uh, quiet here. But even from here, we keep fighting, we donate our army, we provide humanitarian uh, assistance to the military and uh, refugees, trying to tell the truth to the whole world, including, including even Russian citizens who don't understand that we have such a situation, who believe there is no war. And we are trying to tell them the truth. A lot of people are still at their homes. Anton, our sound producer, he is now in Bucha. Bucha is near Kiev, and we have a very bad situation there. This city was under a bomb attack, and we have a lot of street fights with the, uh, Russian troops. And uh, we don't have a connection with our sound, uh, our sound producer from Saturday, from Saturday, March 5th. We don't know if he is okay. We don't know if he is alive. We can't hear about him anything. Ihor, our keyboard player, he is still in Kyiv, as well as my parents. They are okay. We have connection with them, but still, of course, Kyiv is a very hot point on Ukrainian map. And of course, they are doing their best there. Uh, right now, we have a huge quiz lined up uh, at our military registration stations. There are a lot of people who want to protect Ukraine. That's true. And we are all proud of our nation. In many places all over Ukraine, we have problems with food, drinks and medicines. Even here, uh, we're we very far from hot points, but even here, we used to go five kilometers to get some water. Now this problem is solved because we found some mountain spring with drinking water. But to buy a water, we used to walk five kilometers. Why walk? Because we are uh, in mountains and um, it's very cold, a lot of ice, and it's uh, impossible to drive because um, it's very dangerous, you know, it's uh, ice on the roads. That's why we walked. <laughs> um, what else I want to say that Russian troops are monsters, really. They kill innocent people. They kill children. They bomb houses in areas without any military objects. They take nuclear power objects and blackmail the whole world. There is no 100% safe place in the whole of Ukraine. We hear alarms in all regions, even here. You can be safe in a small village. As they bomb villages, they kill and kidnap locals from these villages. It's horrible. I still can't believe that all that happens with us. That's why in, in these times, of course, music help us um, I know a lot of uh, situations when our listeners used our um, songs and uh, our songs' lyrics 
adopted these two uh, these situations and created some inspiration videos, etc. I'm so happy that in such hard times they use our music, but of course, of course, in this situation, music is not the first time, uh, the, the first priority, the highest priority. Highest priority is to survive. Unfortunately, we have such a situation. That in two words, what's going on, and we are doing our best to finish, finish that as soon as possible. Okay, thank you for those amazing words. We can go to music. It's, uh, I believe that uh, <laughs> uh, every question that you previously sent to me, a um, few words about the current situation still will be mentioned. <laughs> so we can... Yeah, we could start from the early years of I Miss My Death. If you could tell a bit about uh, the start in 2007 and how were the first years until the at her funeral demo in 2010. Sure. So IMMD is a, a abbreviation for I Miss My Death. was founded by my husband. Uh, his name is Serge. Uh, he founded uh, the band together with his friend Yuri uh, in their hometown Mironovka, which is in the south of Kiev uh, region. Uh, in few years, the uh, band uh, moved to Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, and only then actually started working on their first demo. So I can tell you that uh, the first years, um, they count the first, uh, um, the day of uh, founding the band from the first performance. But I really think that uh, I Miss My Death was born in uh, 2009 when they uh, moved to Kiev and started working on this first demo. Um, this first demo was a first step on the way uh, to identifying ourselves as musicians and finding our own sound. To be honest, uh, uh, we were very far from the final point, but still, this demo album has its listeners. Uh, sometime la later, Yuri, co-founder of IMMD, he um, ended his uh, musical career but the friendship didn't end. And um, during this terrible period of Russian invasion, the two founders uh, of the band found themselves uh, under the same roof with their families, again, united by one thing. Right now it's not music, right now it's survival. But as you can see, we all together right now in Carpathian Mountains. A very interesting situation. At which point did you join the band? I joined in 2009. I joined as a keyboard player first, what is interesting. And uh, after that, uh, um, we had another vocalist and uh, she got pregnant and she, she left us. And uh, from that point, I started singing and guys realized that I'm good in that. So... <laughs> Um, I believe starting from 2010, I'm only vocalist, uh, yeah. Uh, key keyboard, we, we had another person for that, starting from 2010. And uh, yes, uh, in 2009, in the first uh, our demo album, you can hear my voice, already my voice. Okay, we could talk a bit about the lyrics then. Uh, many of the songs are in Ukrainian, so uh, it's a bit difficult to understand, so if you could... Uh... Tell a bit where the inspiration for the lyrics comes from and uh, what are the main themes that uh, IMMD sings about. Sure. The main themes uh, we raise in our music is mystic. In the latest album, uh, Ukrainian album, um, we work in, and by the way, in the song we were working before the war, uh, the main lyric theme was Ukrainian myth. We have an outstanding culture with a variety of local legends, beliefs, traditions, folklore, and diving into all these help us to understand why are we acting like that? Uh, what stands under our na national identity? And why are we so different from our neighbors? With our music, I mean the music, which is actually music is international language, right? We aim to support and spread this identity all over the world. We are here, we exist and blossoming, let's say. 
So yes, Ukrainian uh, mystic is the main topic of our um, latest album and the material we started working before the war. Could you give uh, one or two examples of, of those uh, Ukrainian uh, myths? Yes, yes. Uh, one example is from our album Misto. Um, album Misto is about Kyiv and legends. Um, of Kyiv. We have legends about uh, local Kyiv ghosts, for example, or about witches. You know, um, Kyiv is considered as a center of Eastern European mystical world, let's say, because there are a lot of places where witches gather, where a lot of uh, some uh, not, not very uh, earth uh, creatures uh, gather together and uh, they are Shabash, etc. Um, we have a lot of um, legends related to that, uh, beliefs and uh, uh, local some traditions that you, you don't need to go on that night outside because witches are flying, etc., etc. It's uh, real beliefs of Kiev. And, um, you know, uh, uh, also say that uh, every woman in, in Kiev are witches also, <laughs> maybe that's true, I don't know. Um, I'm also from Kiev, so maybe I also have some power, who knows. If we all uh, could do something with this situation, we would be glad to have some power, you know. And uh, another example uh, is about the song uh, that we um, started recording be before the war. Uh, it's about more, uh, not uh, city legends, but more I know land legends, uh, some village legends about creatures like mafkas. Um, uh, creature uh, uh, mafkas uh, uh, actually are dead girls um, that race and um, by laughing and dancing, and they catch men and uh, um, actually take them uh, to, to another world. Let's say. Uh, such creatures, they usually live in fields or uh, in rivers or different types of mafkas here in Ukraine. It's something uh, similar to mermaids, but they look like really girls. Not, We don't have uh, any um, fish tails in our legends. It uh, really looks like just a girl. Just a girl in a, a long, let's say, white dress. It's not a dress. I, I don't know, like long T-shirt, something like that. Um, we usually with green hair, and um, yeah, they uh, wake up at night and start dancing and uh, attracting uh, young men. So we have such legends, etc. <laughs> you were working on new material before the Russian attack. So what kind of plans did you have for year 2020? Yes, we uh, started recording a new single. We already recorded drums, guitar, bass, and even keyboards. Uh, the next step was um, to record my singing and my husband's singing, but unfortunately, I don't know when it will <laughs> happen again and also we almost finish our new costumes they're amazing i can tell you that we plan uh, one more visit to uh, seamstress to try them on and uh, carry with us our key uh, keyboard player Ihor did it other team members uh, didn't have a chance i don't know what happened with, with them right now because they are stuck uh, in the middle of kia and uh, mm, I don't know if, if if they will leave by the end of the war. Let's hope everything will be okay with the um, place where where they are, and um, uh, we will have a chance to wear them and perform in them in uh, all together, all members together. Let's hope it will happen. Also, when we escaped from Kiev, you know, it was an emergency, of course, and we carry with us. One of the most important things, mostly the things of our young son. And uh, what I can tell you, uh, our equipment is still in Kyiv. Guitars, keyboards, microphones, other equipment, everything is Kyiv. The only thing we managed to uh, carry with us is the laptop where our playbacks 
um, and that's all. So again, let's hope that our apartment will be okay and we will come back home to our equipment, to our recordings, uh, to our costumes and perform. I believe that we will perform uh, to our defenders for sure. Um, uh, we know that our music helps uh, them now. Uh, so uh, after all that finished, I believe we should perform it live. 